Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at a quick and easy way to duplicate an item that you have created. You can see that we are on a new screen, as indicated by the woman on her phone. And we'll get rid of her. Let's say we are drawing a project that requires two pieces that are exactly the same size in the box project that we do in our class. You have to draw duplicates of multiple pieces to make them fit together. So in this example, we're going to draw a rectangle and we're going to make it 36 inches long and we're going to make it 24 inches tall. And now to close this off, we'll use our inference points to make it into a rectangle with equal dimensions all the way around. If you do not know about inference points, please check out the video on that topic. Next, I'm going to use my push-pull, and I'm going to give this a third dimension, and we'll just make it one inch thick. <clears throat> so now I have my object that I need to duplicate. You may or may not want to create a group out of this object. Often when it comes to duplicating an item, it's easier if the item is a group. So we'll go ahead and do that by triple clicking and then right click and clicking make a group. Now when we click anywhere on this object, it selects the entire thing. I want to make a second object that is exactly five inches away from the object that I currently have. So there are a couple of ways that I can do this. The first would be to select and then right click and click copy and then right click, click paste and it attaches a duplicate item onto my mouse that I can move around and position anywhere in the screen. And that's fine, except it can be difficult to get this duplicate item lined up exactly with the current item that I have. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my item at f up front, and I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to start moving it on the red axis, and I'll move it five inches, and I'm going to press control, and you'll notice that when I do that, it replaces the m object that I moved with an exact, an exact duplicate in the original location. Now I can type in five inches, press enter, and there are my duplicate items perfectly in line with each other, spaced five inches apart. I can double check my measurements by clicking my tape measure tool and measuring. And you'll notice it's five inches from the top right corner of the original object to the top right corner of the new object. So if I wanted an outside dimension of five inches, you can see that I'm a little bit off here and I would need to adjust the position of one of my items. This is a really easy and handy way to duplicate items. Now I can repeat the process if I would like by selecting these two items. And then when I click my move tool and start moving, if I press control, it replaces the two originals with two new ones. And I can repeat this process as many times as I would like. Now I'll make four more. Simply by pressing the control button when I'm moving those objects. And there it is.